Hello everyone and welcome back to Poplet Book Club. This month we have The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. This hit mystery originally was released in January of 2018 and has since been on a bumpy path to becoming a movie. The rights were originally acquired by 20th Century Fox and then that was bought out by Disney in March of last year. It's not really a Disney friendly story so they recently agreed to let Netflix distribute the film. The trailer has already come out and stars Amy Adams and Gary Oldman, so hopefully we'll hear more about this adaptation soon. In the meantime, let's dig into the original story. The plot of The Woman in the Window centers around Dr. Anna Fox, a child psychotherapist who suffers from agoraphobia after a traumatic incident from the previous winter. While she does have a husband and a daughter they no longer live with her and that leaves her severely isolated besides the occasional chat with her basement tenant david her physical therapist bina and her own psychologist dr julian fielding as a way to connect to the outside world anna uses her camera to spy on the families around her and keep tabs on what everyone is doing and this spying is what leads to her witnessing what she believes to be the murder of mrs jane russell the mother of the family that has just moved in next door. Part of what drives the suspense of the novel is the unreliable narrator. Anna is isolated and scared, and she also drinks far too much wine, which she consumes alongside a myriad of medications. She's also a cinephile, repeatedly watching black and white films, such as those that Hitchcock is famous for. The scenes and quotes from these movies blend into Anna's experiences and, to what extent we're not sure, affect her reality. Despite everything working against her, though, Anna is resolved to figure out what happened and, as her doctor's O states, place others' interests above my own. Between her educated analysis of what's happening and her acknowledgement that her mind isn't completely stable, The reader is presented with an interesting juxtaposition between her reliable background and her less reliable current state. Unfortunately, because this is a mystery, I can't really say too much in this video. There were a lot of twists and turns that I really don't want to spoil for you. What I will say is that I really enjoyed this book. I'm still a bit of a novice when it comes to mysteries, so I'm sure there are some readers who found some of the reveals less surprising but I think the author did a great job of weaving all the little bits and pieces together. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and move on to discussion questions. So please answer these in the comments below and feel free to leave any of your other thoughts that you had about the book. What was your first impression of Anna? How did your opinion of her change throughout the book? How did you feel about this version of an unreliable narrator? Do you feel like Finn relied too heavily on her drinking, or was Anna more complex? The author dropped a lot of red herrings to keep the guess- reader guessing. Did they work for you, or did you see through them? And do you feel like they added value to the book? What did you like and not like about this representation of mental illness? What do you think about the many film references that Finn included in the story? Have you watched any of those movies? And Fox did release the trailer in December. What changes do you think that they'll make to the movie version? And are you going to watch it? I really just flew through this book and I will definitely be watching the movie once it's released. I've also checked out Hitchcock's Rear Window, which is supposed to have a lot of similarities to see how that kind of compares to this story. As of now, AJ doesn't seem to be working on any other books, but hopefully we'll see more from him in the future. I hope you enjoyed this book, and if you still need to read it, you can check out a physical copy from us at the library, or you can also access digital versions on Overdrive, Libby, and on Hoopla. Next month, we will be discussing Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Eng, and until then, have a great day.